Please end for us. And they all live miserably ever after. <laughs> However, there's more to the story than that. For you see, in the beginning, there were three brothers. Wait, you skipped it. <laughs> and their names were Elian, Heckel, and Jekyll. <laughs> that their brother was really their sister. So they woke up in the morning after drinking the old crow and realized there must be some place we're supposed to be today. Oh, that's right, Bardic Madness. Hmm, what can we do at Bardic Madness? First, let us fly, as the crow does, straight to the event. And then we'll, then we'll sign up to sing harmony because crows are such good singers of harmony. <laughs> and they sat around and waited to see who would listen to them once they saw who was signed up on the sheet. <laughs> and that reminded them of something that had happened before. The day before, they had been waiting as well. And, and in fact, they looked back, and the day before that, and the day before that, and they had been waiting continuously for someone to come along and sing in harmony with them. It had been a very long wait, and a great deal of old crow had been consumed. <laughs> but finally, someone came along, and they started singing, Cock a the carrion crow. <laughs> very excited that they picked out such a beautiful song and sang it in their beautiful, harmonious crow voices. Crow, blackbirds and crows, they don't have beautiful voices. But, but nonetheless, they had enthusiasm. <laughs> and with enthusiasm comes a desire to improve oneself. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> songs by other creatures. There were the ravens and the cardinals. And the cardinals had learned all of their pieces from the squids. <laughs> the squids, in fact, had an ancient and venerable tradition that dated back to where they learned theirs from mere oysters. Now, Oysters. And the oysters had pearls of wisdom for all. <laughs> <laughs> However, the crow's favorite song was still, of course, the Twa Corbys. But everyone has heard that before. So, <laughs> so everyone joined in with the singing, and it carried on as before. For since they were young, they were taught that the purpose of song is to share one's perspective of the world, and of course, Raven's perspective of the world was colored by the squids and the oysters. <laughs> sort of a murky, hazy blue? <laughs> well, well, actually, actually, you know, um, 
the 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 the, uh, the ravens tried to 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 sing like squids, but they didn't quite have the tentacles for and, and legs for it. And they tried to sing like oysters, but they didn't quite have the, the the mouths for it. So they took other people's material and made it their own, and that's what we'll be doing today. Ta-da! <laughs>